Hi, this is Terry at FireplaceBlowersOnline.com. We're shooting another video today. We've had a lot of requests for this. We've got a, this unit that we're gonna uh, shoot the video on and replace the blowers is from a Travis Industry Lopi unit, the Freedom unit. Uh, our customer sent it in, wanted to have two blowers replaced, and we're gonna show you how we do that and what we use to uh, accomplish that. We're gonna be replacing the old blowers with our replacement blowers that I've got sitting here. Um, the difference between the OEM and our blowers is we feel that we've got a better blower. Um, our blowers are all ball bearing constructed. And if I turn this one around, instead of a composite wheel, we're using an all aluminum wheel. It helps increase airflow and it alleviates any problem if you've got any hot ash that's going in there and it won't melt the wheels. So we're going to show you that today. We're going to show you what we're using to swap out the blowers. Um, it's fairly simple. Uh, we've got a, a wire strippers here. We've got a crimping tool, a needle nose, a vice grips, and a cordless screwdriver with a drill bit in here. Uh, the drill bit size is going to be um, used to drill out the rivet heads. So if you've got a little larger rivet head, use a drill bit that's just slightly over the size of the rivet you're drilling out. Um, I think we can go ahead and shoot this video. Um, we want to show everybody what it takes to swap out the blowers. Now, in your unit, you might only have the left blower going out, but if your unit is five, 10 years old. If the left one's going, the right one's probably not far behind. So we do offer both blowers, and we have a bundle price on these, of $159.95. That's right now today's price uh, with free shipping. So our suggestion is if you're gonna replace one and go through the trouble, you might as well throw two new units in there. So right now we're gonna go ahead, start the, start the uh, video, uh, what it takes, we're going to take this unit apart, replace the blowers, and show you how to do it. And um, it's probably about a 15 minute um, actual uh, time spent replacing the blowers. So we're going to stop right now. We're going to bring our tech in, Jim. He's going to do this for us. He's going to start what he's done. And this is just to save a little time on the video. He's pre-drilled out about eight rivets. So we don't go through the boredom of drilling out 12 rivets total. There's, we've got three or four left that we're gonna drill out to get at the blowers, and we're gonna show you how to do that right now. So we're gonna bring Jim in here. Um, Jim's gonna start this process, and we're gonna just move these out of the way for now so Jim can get in here and start drilling out this unit. So come on, Jim, let's... Uh... So this is Jim. He does, he's done a number of these. I, I was also gonna mention why he's doing this before he starts. If you want, and we're willing to do this, our price on the blower bundle is $159.95. If you feel that after watching this video, this is something that you don't wanna do, you can ship it to us. You're gonna pay the $159.95 for the blowers, and it's an additional $50 charge um, for us to swap this out for you. We'll send it back to you, no charge, but your cost is to ship it to us, pay the $159.95 for the blowers, and an additional $50 labor charge. But you'll see what this entails, and it's probably something if you're, it's a, a do-it-yourself project for most people. So let's get started shooting this video. Um, again, some of, the blow, some of the rivets are pre-drilled out, we're gonna take out the ones that uh, he's doing now. There's one. So what he did was he hold the back of the rivet with a uh, needle nose. He's drilling the head of the rivet out right now.
Again, he pre-drilled out some of the rivets, so we, we didn't go through this and uh, get redundant on doing that. But now, and I'm not sure if this one's got it, and he's taking, removing his screw. One on the back side. At this point, you're exposing the motors. Your motors will come out. Oh, yeah, one more rivet. Okay, at this point, what you want to do is you only got two wires connected to your motor. So you want to take a side cutters and cut them all the way down next to the motor. So you have two of them right here. Okay, now at this point, what you want to do is strip these leads. And what we use, because on the new motors, you're gonna have male terminals on these. These are quarter inch, fully insulated terminals. So we're gonna put on fully insulated female terminals onto the leads that we just cut off. Now, as an option to this or an alternative, if you don't wanna go through the process of putting on the, the terminals, you can cut the terminals off the blowers and use a wire nut. Uh, if you're gonna use a wire nut, then you'd wanna put some electrical tape in, tape the wire nuts on as well. So that blower's removed, new terminals are put on. Just snapping out the rivets that he drove out. These are your old blowers. As you can see, they have the composite wheels, plastic wheels. And this one basically what barely even turns. So we'll do the same thing on this side. We're gonna strip them and terminate them. Now we're ready to install the new blowers. <coughs> so when we put the blowers in, you want to keep these, these terminals and these terminals up because we're going to connect those. These motors will drop in. And the wiring out of the way. We want to connect, either terminal can be connected to either lead as you put these back together again. And it's simple as that. And that. That's all the wiring you got to do. And obviously you want to tuck your wiring down, but we'll do that once we screw those back in. And once he has the blowers connected and putting a unit back together again, we're just going to use a, uh, a sheet metal screw. And it's a number eight sheet metal screw. And for all these blowers that we're doing, the overall length of our replacement blower is roughly six and a half inches. And 
that's the same size that they're using. The OEM units are that we are replacing. So everything is a, a nice snug fit. It's a, it's a direct replacement. All right, Jim's got the blowers in. What we're gonna do is line up their slots cut into these blowers. And we're gonna line these up to these holes. Now, some of these, depending on your unit, one of these will line up, the other one may not, so we may have to drill one hole. So we're only gonna put two screws back into the new replacements. <coughs> so what you can do is go down, figure out which one you're gonna line up on these. And uh, change a bit. That simple. These particular ones, both of them line up. That side's done. That's it. All you're doing now is basically reassembling, tucking your wires back in, and reassembling your unit. And at this point, all we're going to do is screw it back together and use the screws on the ends. Same thing on this side. <laughs> and these top ones were already had screws in them. So we're just gonna line those holes up. screws back in. Basically, you're done. You're gonna put a screw in here, a screw in here. Do it. Just finish it all up and uh, you can see a little effort on your part and you can save yourself a substantial amount of money by replacing the blowers instead of getting rid of the unit. Units completed. back on, keeping the wires in, out of the way. You just yeah, saved yourself done. roughly $250 by doing it yourself. So you can see this is truly a do-it-yourself project. Uh, with a little time um, spent, you can save yourself a lot of money. Uh, just finishing off the last three screws. Okay, unit is completely done, uh, ready to go. So we just wanted to shoot a video showing you what it takes to change out the blowers. And this is not, this unit was off the freedom. This is going to apply whether it's the, whether you have the, uh, uh, the Revere or any of the, the low pie units, the Liberty, uh, the 1250 insert, 1751 insert, um, anything that takes a six and a half inch blower that you'll be able to replace. So it, again, think about doing it yourself, save some money, upgrade your blowers, um, make your unit as efficient as possible, 
If you have questions, you can give us a call, but watch the video. You, Jim just show you, showed you how to do it. Um, again, replacement blowers, $159.95 is a bundle price. If you're gonna replace one, our suggestion is replace them both. If you want us to do it for you, it's still gonna, we're gonna charge you $50 to do it. Um, and we will do it for you and our turn time on that, it probably gonna be a day or two for us to get it shipped back to you. Again, Terry at FireplaceBlowersOnline.com. Uh, just wanted to give you a heads up, do it yourself project, replace your blowers. Oh, phone number. <laughs> 262-989-4882 or 4883. Thanks again.